Hey guys, welcome back to Bomb the TV. So today we're going to be checking out one of your recommendation. Guys, if you need your pleasure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Guys, today we're going to be checking out an amazing video. This is going to be basic beliefs of Islam. I made a reaction previously about Islam being explained under 10 minutes. And some people were like, it's not true. Like... They were not really satisfied with that video. They feel the video is not complete and there are some things taken away from the video. So, guys, this is a new one. Let's get straight into this. Basic belief of Islam. An introduction. It's Dr. John Hoffa. Hello, we have with us uh, Dr. Musharraf Hussein who is the chief executive of the Kadimiya Institute here in Nottingham. And he's with us to talk about the basic beliefs of Islam. And Musharraf, can you tell us what the basic beliefs are? Well, first of all, beliefs uh, in Arabic is Iman, and it simply means to accept as truth whatever the prophet of Islam, Muhammad, taught. So it's having this uh, unwavering uh, belief an acceptance of first and foremost of course is belief in God uh, in an almighty God and and really that is it to be honest the rest of the two major uh, beliefs that is the prophethood uh, and the um, hereafter all revolve around this and of course we'll be talking about the six uh, beliefs angels the books uh, the hereafter, the predestination, um, but really it is all about one God and all these other uh, elements and tenets of the faith really reinforce the belief in one supreme, almighty, all-powerful God really. Mm -hmm. So these, uh, it's really all about God yeah. and the six basic beliefs, so if we count them, let's see, there's God, it's angels, it's messengers, it's books, it's uh, the last day and it's predestination. They're all about God. Absolutely. I mean, if, if, if each, uh, as we will, you know, l explore them later on, we, you will see that really they all come back to God. The angels, the books, it's all about God communicating, God talking to his people. And of course, uh, you know, that is the only way that we can know God. So where does one look to find what these beliefs are? Uh, are there creeds? Are there books? I mean, uh, well, of course, the first and foremost source is the glorious Quran itself. You know, that is the source. Uh, but Muslim scholars over the uh, centuries uh, have been trying to distill and to put it uh, succinctly and package it nicely into a, a creed similar to the Christian creed. And we have many uh, popular ones, and the one which uh, the Hanfis, in particular, world over, and the Ash'aris use is called. Aqaid and Nasafi, the beliefs of the great teacher of the 11th century Nasafi. Okay, what are some of the other? Uh, is the uh, uh, Nasafi and the, you mentioned Hanafi and Ashari? Uh, can you just briefly say where this fits into the wider yes, yes. Um, okay, tradition well, of Islam? The, the beliefs are really, um, th th there are three ways of looking at the Islamic creed, slightly different from one another. There is the Hanbali way. Uh, the, and, and then there is the uh, Ash'ari way, and then there is the Maturidi way. The, 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 uh, the, the contents are the same, it's just the style, uh, and it is just the tone and the tenor in which they are printed, and sometimes details actually, that's the only difference. But otherwise, I mean, th they are actually the same in, in, in many respects. What is this word, uh, belief? What's it mean? I think you used the word Iman, did yes, you not? Right, yes, that's right. What it, do we mean by this? Well, it's, in a way, it's um, accepting God as the creator of the universe. It is um, accepting that this is the reality, really. And it's actually, in many ways, we can compare it to a spectacle. You know, how we, it gives us a world view, how we view the world, how we l view ourselves and how we view the world in relation to this creator really so it's a it, it builds an attitude uh, it builds a mindset it builds a particular world view that is what beliefs are really and by looking through this uh, uh, beliefs 
uh, system, you begin to see the world differently from people who might not have that belief really. So it's, it's, it is a very fundamental way of understanding the world and seeing the world and understanding what's around you. How does belief then relate to works? Because that's a, uh, an issue in many religious traditions. Yeah. Uh, how does that fit together? Well, um, you know, th there is this notion that um, the b belief gives you this basis of relating with your creator uh, and therefore uh, trying to please and to uh, really um, live his will, really. Yes. And so the works are really putting into action what your faith teaches you. So it, it's really that the relationship is very uh, uh, close, that uh, you know the, the um, beliefs really have to be expressed physically and that's what we're about really and, and the, uh, the works are really the deeds are really expression uh, of our love and relationship with god good one qu last quick question can can belief increase and decrease because yeah. i know that's well a that question that's a fascinating debate yeah. amongst the muslim scholars and there is one view which is very simply that no th you know f faith doesn't actually increase it's like all or none in physiology you know you need to l l reach a certain threshold once you've reached that threshold uh, and you've crossed it that's it it doesn't really matter after that uh, so it's actually meaning you've entered the pale of islam you've entered the uh, the, the, the boundaries of Islam and, and that's it. Uh, but of course there is the other view that you know, faith keeps on increasing as your deeds uh, and then as your relationship and as your connection develops with the Almighty. Thank you Mushara for helping us understand about faith or belief. We use these two terms to mean uh, to translate the Arabic word Iman. And now we move on to our additional videos. Thank you very much for being with us. Guys, I thought a man is like okay, first time I had in my thought it was like um maybe a, a Quran scholar that you know us we call our prophet, but I thought maybe an Islam an Islam scholar is called an Imam. Please tell me if I'm wrong or right, because that's what I think it is. But now I'm hearing an Imam an Iman means belief is actually it's strange. Yeah, really first time hearing this, guys. And it's something that I've never had before, but it's nice. And I feel if you believe in something, you, you start working towards it, you start connecting with God, yeah, it's going to increase. Your faith is going to increase. And I feel you're going to get to a certain point that you just can't go back. Like, so I feel, I'll say, when you have faith, when you have faith in God, there's nothing as beautiful as that. You know, someone got you back every time, anywhere. It's just wonderful. Guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Best.